Hello beautiful Pisces, welcome to your September reading. My name is JD, this is Crystal Communications and sweethearts in your meditation. It was really nice because it was the most peaceful of all of the signs in the zodiac for the month of September. It's really nice because we do have a Mars and Aries retrograde, which is causing some turbulent energy. We've also got Venus in Leo, which is amping up that fire and passion. And it feels like you're really harnessing these beautiful energies for healing, healing your heart, your soul. And it's it's really beautiful. The message I got was um, a step at a time and you're wanting to cultivate this inner peace. It was like being cautious. There was a moment or a situation or something that happened that you didn't see coming and it's sort of has it's got you sort of just taking a bit of a step you know at this time but what I see is there's going to be this divine amazing healing that's coming in for you supported by your full moon at the start of September which is just going to it's going to be just absolutely this peace return it's going to be absolutely divine for you Pisces it makes me so very happy um what else did I get here? Um, yeah, healing and then the symbol of the dove and um, and believing in spontaneous healing as well. Let's do your energy card for the month of September. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So yeah, we've got Venus in Leo, which is going to be bringing this um, sense of confidence back and also just um, sort of um, focusing on what is making you happy we've got birds flying everywhere here at the moment what makes you happy like expressing your love and your joy you got rest and rejuvenation and basically that is exactly what i'm feeling that's the, that's the energy right there you know and that is what is being called for in this time of just um you know time for you pisces and you got the garden and the gate so beautiful so this is sort of like showing that it's very lovely in the garden here but also knowing that out here like there's these butterflies of hope you know and wondering like what is you know possible and dreaming in new inspirations you know it's like taking that leap of faith and 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 trusting in hope and new beginnings pisces you also got door to value so this is recognizing your worth it's like you're going to be amplified with this energy because this great healing is coming through and suddenly you're you're seeing you know these creative endeavors these new ways forward where you're really recognizing ways to increase your abundance your energy yeah beautiful Okay, Pisces, let me see. So if we've got a question, I've got this gorgeous new deck here. Um, we're going to ask Spirit, for Pisces, Spirit, what would you like Pisces to know in regards to this, this question? Um, helpful people. And I really do see this, you know, for you at this time. It's sort of like people are caring for you, you know, which is just really, it's beautiful. And also, you know, reaching out for help, you know, in times where it's like we can talk to people about our emotions and feelings, our energy, financial advice, all of this. You know, there are people around you with, with really good advice at this time, Pisces. Okay, sweethearts, we're going to do the spirit animal and then your tarot. And I have this gorgeous deck, which is new, which is messages from your love, your twin flame, soulmate. So you got fire ant. Uh, so this is, don't pretend the heat's not getting to you. <laughs> okay, so it's sort of like dealing with those emotions. And yes, you know, channeling that energy through meditation and through um, exercise, but also not being afraid to look at what this situation is, you know, what could be concerning you at this time. You know, going into the place where you can deal with those difficult emotions, you know, and it's not easy. And sometimes we do need to get angry and cry and be frustrated, you know, and all of these emotions are valid. You know, journaling is going to be really helpful for you at this time as well. You know, talking to people, exercise, meditation. Yeah. Okay. So let us do your tarot and then we'll do your love messages. Okay. 
Pisces. That full moon is just going to be so amazing. And honestly, the collective is so lucky to have a full moon in Pisces at this time because it's allowing us to dream, allowing us to... Um, wow. To feel that sense of encouragement to go with the flow. <laughs> okay, Pisces. So... In your past situation, you got the um, the higher the emperor. I'm sorry, the emperor. So this is you making wise decisions. You being in your authority. This can be, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Making compromises for the sake of the community, for the sake of your family. You know, making wise decisions. Sort of, you know, thinking about the full picture here. In the present situation for September, you got the tower in reverse. Um, this could be a couple of things. So it can be resisting the free fall. And I feel like this is the situation that's already happened, you know, where it's like um, dealing with those emotions, you know, from this, you know, this situation. It can also be you showing rebellion at this time, doing something that shocks others, you know, that surprises others. So the really nice thing here in your um, in your hidden influence is the Ace of Swords. Okay, so this is, you know, the, the real deal energy of the situation, which is you got, you know, receiving this guidance and this strength. It's like, this is victory and success, okay? And it's also new beginnings. All aces are new beginnings. And, you know, yes, there is battles. Yes, there are, you know, there's going to be things that need to be dealt with, but with your intellect and with your skill and with your courage, you can do this. You can get through this. You're absolutely working with the elements and on the shore road to success. Wow, Pisces. So let us see. Hidden um, obstacle, rather, hanged man. So let me see story here. Yeah, hanged man in reverse. So what I'm feeling like this is it's like um, not wanting to sort of, um, this is the obstacle. Yeah, not sort of wanting to take that advice or like doing things on your own, feeling a little stuck. As an obstacle, it's sort of, you know, asking you to, to gain that new perspective. Not be afraid of, of those emotions. I really do feel like it's attached to this, this emotional Pisces full moon that's just going to be bringing this healing in all areas of your life. And as an obstacle, it's not really going to be an obstacle because you are being supported by your very own full moon. The planets are guiding you at this time. It's like we can avoid things, avoid, you know, the emotion, but it's always eventually going to show up, you know, and you're, you've got this ace of wands, this ace of swords. So you have that courage and you're going forward and doing this. You've got the knight of wands in others. So others are seeing you as just, you know, surrendering. <laughs> it's like there's an energy, there's something that is propelling you forward. This is new creativity, new light. This is tapping into pure divine inspiration, Pisces. Here you are on your line going forth, surrendering to this energy that is just bringing you forward on this path. Wow. It's really free-flowing and the full moon, I think it's the second or the third, but it sort of sets the scenes for the months, but it's like, it literally happens at the start of the month and then it's just all systems go. It goes into this beautiful, passionate, you know, creative, healing time for you. And what you should do is the sun. Wow. 
This is happiness, joy, the light returning. After the darkness of the moon comes the sun, the light, the healing. Look at this beautiful balance in the two wolves. This can also be good news about family and children. This is a, a new beginning. This is union, transformation, complete rebirth, Pisces. Wow. And your outcome, it's more transformation and more new beginnings, Ace of Wands. This is not being afraid. New insight. This energy is going to be propelling you forward and this is a new business venture or a new relationship, but the energy is unstoppable. It's sort of, it's just, it's, it's got its own momentum now. Wow. Pisces, this month, you know, it's, yes, emotional. Yes, not easy to, you know, but you have all the tools. You've got two aces there. And it's not a challenge for you because you have that intellect, you have that courage, you have that divine guidance. It's amazing. Let's see which Ascended Masters are guiding me in this time. It's literally like this fresh new, fresh new energy, new beginning. So you got power of joy. That's the sun. You know, laughter returning. That's what it is all about. You got come out of the closet and I feel like this is, you know, just being your true self, looking, you know, within all your emotions, in your full creativity. Gorgeous. And balance, balance of career and home life. Yeah. Divine feminine. Wow. I forget who got this Capricorn, I think got this one as well. There's light and joy returning. It's like not more any of this cautiousness, which, you know, is important at all times, you know, to protect ourselves and to be cautious. But there is, did we do Romans Angels for you? <laughs> I feel like we did. Did we buy these? Did we do Romance Angels? I can't remember. Let's do your message from your your love for Pisces. What message does Pisces love have for them for the month of September? And then we'll do your Romance Angels, possibly again. What message does Pisces love have for them for September? Dang. Yeah, I'm seeing the image of the peace star falling. So you got passion. It says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. <gasps> Pisces. Wow. There you go. Nice one. <laughs> a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. And that's that energy of the full moon. Like absolutely. You know, it's like the water comes in because, and so it's like, you're know, enjoying those energies and just like going for it, being you know, your full, exuberant, creative, passionate self. That's beautiful. Okay, so romance angels for Pisces. <laughs> wow. Flying. One sec. <laughs> okay, so you've got stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Get two more here for Pisces. One more. You got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And this could be the one. It says you've already met the romantic partner. You see quite a few of the signs have got this card this month, which is um, quite lovely. So check your sun, moon, rising, Venus as well. Um, sweethearts let's do an angel let's see who's guiding you from the angels 
music is going to be beautiful and healing for you. Uh, you also got Archangel Michael. Absolutely love my card. This card is one of my favorites. Um, my card, Archangel Michael. The reason I love this is Archangel Michael is so strong, so inspirational. He, you know, supports us, protects us, and guides us to go forward and to, you know, follow our passions and our true heart's desires. And his 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 saying is his motto is you can do it. You absolutely can, Pisces. And I really feel like this little bit of a challenge or something that you're going to be looking at. It's like you have all the pieces and support and it's really it's going to be I mean, it's never a breeze to deal with difficult emotion. It's really the most brave and courageous thing we can do. But the energy and the support and the newness of this transformation that's coming through for you is just, it's just divine. And self-acceptance. Yeah. Accepting what is, you know, to then go forward. Accepting all parts of yourself. Taking down any of those, you know, for, um, you know, walls that we put up. Hmm. Love it. Let's get a butterfly here for you. Two more. I'm really looking forward to this five pieces full moon. I think it's um, it's going to be a gorgeous comforting energy for the collective so we have self-employment and this is that new energy that's coming through like sparks of inspiration you know ways to to really you know do those things that you want to do and you got welcome the new yes it is all about it mm -hmm. and spiritual growth it's amazing. There's a celebration, Pisces, and there's a congratulations in order. It's really glorious. It's I mean, you've got the sun card. It's the happiest. It's the happiest of all of them. And it's all coming in for you for September. Sending you so much love, light, joy, and blessings. Thank you so much for your support and like and subscribe. This one just fell on my lap it says adult children <laughs> i've never received this card before adult children okay <laughs> so this is reconnecting with that inner child you know the fun the light and the joy that's beautiful pisces <laughs> i love it oh my goodness I'm, i've not seen that card before go and have fun my darling sending you lots of love and i shall see you soon Thank you for like, subscribe and sharing. <laughs> Bye, darlings.